Hello everyone, my name is Dave Partner and welcome to the next tutorial on JavaScript, your 21st tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll look at a very compact, the most compact type of loops in JavaScript and uh, this one is called for loop. In for loop, you kind of write, uh, pass everything as parameters into um, your your loop, your method, alright? So, but in while loop, remember in while loop, we have um, var x equal to uh, 0 that was our initialization statement initialization statement so um but here in for loop you have to pass it into uh, as a parameter and then we we had a while and then we had our expression here which was the test condition but in for loop you have to pass it in as a parameter and then of course we have the iteration statement where we tell it how to increase the value of x in while loop we do it inside the body but in for loop you kind of do it outside all right so um, let's look at a practical example let's replicate what we did in the past with while loop on with for loop so we just do a while loop our initial we declare x and say that x is equal to zero then of course we um, the test condition will be until x is less than 15 and then the iterative condition will be x plus plus remember and then we can print document dot write and uh, we say that uh, first of all we print the value of x and we'll put plus concatenate it and say hello world again and then we'll put a line break so that they will be, it will print out in different lines and then we can we'll get back and refresh so we have from 0 to 14 what if we wanted it to print the 15th guy before it quits the loop uh, we can say um, less than or equal to so uh, it will print you know 15 is less than or equal to 15 so it will actually print the 15th guy so let's confirm so we we'll get back here keep your eye on this guy here or we'll refresh and there we have it so um this settles it. Another thing you can know, I, I can tell you here, is that um, this loop is kind of increasing. We can uh, make it to decrease, to roll backwards. Um, what if we say that x is equal to 15? x is equal to 15. And then we are supposed to increase x until as long as x is um less than or equal to zero so we want to count down and until so we can say x minus minus so we want to count down uh, from 15 14 we're reducing x 15 14 13 and so on until we get to zero then we stop all right so let's go and refresh and see as you can see look at the loop makes sense right now 15 14 13 until it gets to zero all right if we don't want it to print the this zero the last one we'll make sure that uh, we work on our code to make sure that there's no equal sign here we can say equals so it doesn't print the zero value so another thing we can do is to manipulate and make sure that we increase x let's um increase x again here okay let's decrease x again here and um we'll come back so x decreases but then it decreases inside the loop so it jumps one number so let's see refresh as you can see 15 13 12 so it's jumping one number each so there are so many things you can do it just gives you unlimited power to manipulate your variables the way you want it and uh, one last thing i have to point out is that uh the mistake many people make with four loops is that they they usually put comma here they separate these parameters with comma instead of semicolon these things are statements so they end with semicolon h this guy is a semicolon not a comma all right i hope you really enjoyed this tutorial see you in the next tutorial where we'll look at other um, um one or two more things in loops before we move on to another topic so thank you very much and don't forget to like and subscribe and always follow me on social networks see you